What's up my fellow horror comrades and welcome to another segment of Horror Chat. For those of you out there who are just stumbled across this video, what this is, is I bring you movie news that are circling around in the horror universe. I bring them to you guys, I put my two cents on it, and we have ourselves a blast while doing so. So without further ado, let's get on into this. <laughs> things I forgot to discuss in my previous hard chat, that is Human Centipede 3 is a go. It is happening, you guys, whether you like it or not. It Rumor is that it will take place in a prison and that it will be 100% politically incorrect. Now, I watched the first two Human Centipede movies. I felt disgusted afterwards. But I watched it, so I'll probably watch this. I'll probably feel disgusted, feel like I just sold my soul to the devil, but I'll watch it, and that'll be it. Prometheus fans, get excited, because Prometheus 2 is happening. It is a go, because we just got ourselves a writer called Jake Paglin is writing the script. He wrote a very popular movie coming out next year called Transcendence. So that film alone will determine whether or not how excited we should be for Prometheus 2. Resident Evil 6 might get a release date change. It was supposed to come out in September of 2014. That might not happen and it might get moved to 2015, but that's all I could say about that because that's all we know. For fans out there of the show, Hemlock Grove should be really excited because you guys are getting a season two. How freaking excited. I'm only like an episode or two into the show. I'm hooked, so I'm excited to know that there will be another season. This news is kind of old, but I feel like reporting it anyway, but Bates Motel is also getting a second season, and I love this show. I'm kind of obsessed with it, so I am super, super stoked about this. Now, our last bit of news is some pretty huge freaking news that has a lot of little subparts in it. First bit is that Paramount's and New Line Cinemas has forever been trying to get a sequel going for the 2009 remake. But they haven't been able to get anything going. But now I'm here to tell you that Paramount now officially owns all the rights to Friday the 13th and the character Jason Voorhees. And they are now partnering with Platinum Dunes to give us a sequel to the 2009 remake. How exciting is that? Also, you guys, if you love Friday the 13th as much as I do, then you should be really ecstatic to know that you will soon be able to purchase all the Friday the 13th films in one giant collector box set for the retail price is running at about $130, which is not bad, but I'm sure you can probably find it cheaper somewhere else. Also, you guys, if you would like to keep up to date with everything that's going on in my life, I am indeed on Facebook. You can find all that stuff in the link description below. You can also follow me on Twitter. Now, I just created a Twitter account, so I would like it if you would follow me, because right now I kind of have zero, and uh, I don't want to look like a fool. <laughs> So there you have it, you guys. That was this segment of Horror Chat. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Comment down below with your thoughts. Are you super excited for a new Friday 13th film? How do you feel about all the other stuff I covered? And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.